Pokemon DPSP, True Team Building 3, Pimpluff, and his teammates. Once again, we're back with a part two of how to build the perfect team with a Pokemon who has a disadvantage to a Pokemon with advantage. Now, let me say something to you children. Ever since I had started watching these guys, these four Poketubers, known as the Sacred Tubers of Pokemon. Get it? Sacred Tubers. <laughs> like, say, Sacred Almighty. Who kind of broke down how to use Pokemon in each battles and which team, which Pokemon is to choose. Man JTB, who did the same thing. But with uh, Man J TV, it's like say he pointed out how which Pokemon started to use for each league, and well, the most possible one was where he chose Water. Tyrant Tube, the dude who laid back and cool when it comes to talk about Pokemon. I'm gonna call him for Tyrant Tube. Ain't that probably like for a raging dude? <laughs> you supposed to have angry, buddy. Not cool, smooth, and laid back. Yeah, my brother. <laughs> and the Pokemon company that loves him, and for his first appearance on a Pokemon tour bus last year, Bird Keeper Toby. And also check out his other channel, Car Keeper Toby. Wow. Once again, we're back on when it comes to choosing a starter Pokemon that has a disadvantage. You gotta build a team behind that Pokemon that give him an advantage. Now <clears throat> Since we're back in the Sinnoh region, I chose Sinnoh version for this video. Where if you go back to Lake Valor, and with Lake Valor, you choose Pipla, Chinchar, or Turtwig. I mean, first I started with Chinchar, then Turtwig, now I'm on Pipla. Pipluff have more of a disadvantage than Chimchar that nobody ever knew. So see, we're back on Primpluff once again. It's just like you're asking yourself, hmm, what are you trying to say this time? Well, can you let me finish first? When you come to building the team, you gotta have the perfect team of balance. Primpluff, water type, Murkrow, a dark and flying type. I mean, you can have a little bit more interest when it comes to, you know, building the team. And that's just seeing something. I mean, Netric, who's just a electric type. I mean, you got to catch a Minetric who uses, like, lightning rod. Not static, but lightning rod. Because, well, there are certain trainers out there who use electric type moves. So, <laughs> And teach how to use double kick. I know he does. And then, Mischievous. In which you might have to catch either a turn your forest or... Or Lost Tower. Hey, uh, that's near Silicon Town. Because, well, you don't have to need it for Fantina. But, if you want to Marlene for a couple badge, I mean, she got a Medi type. Ma 
choke and a Lucario, which is a steel and um fight type Pokemon. So yeah, cause you know what I'm gonna have to do. You know what you have to do, really. Once you get your uh underground kit, go to Heart Home City. Use that kit to get yourself a Dust Stone. Cause once you level up Murkrow, you have to have it evolved to a Hunch Crow. I mean, one Hunch Crow can learn more vast and powerful type moves. Yeah, I think I learned Sky Attack. That's the only powerful move he can learn. Plus, he can learn Foul Player or Dark Pulse. Yeah. Then, use Primpluff in this battle as well. Because not only learn bird type moves, but I bet if you could teach it some way to teach it some fight type moves, ho 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 ho, you're in the clear. Because you can use that to beat. Well, her Lucario. Because I know a steel type Pokemon, like Lucario, is weak against Zay type moves. Then we have Crush Awake. To earn yourself that Finn badge. Hey man, ain't it Finn? That'd be what it would look like. Whew. Let me get out of here. I need that badge already. <laughs> You're going to have to need it for his Gyarados, his Quagsire, and his Fotizel. And which Pokemon to use that? Well, if you train hard enough, you mean your Electric, you can have that Electric evolve into a Manetric. And which, by the time I bet you can learn some you know, Thunderbolt, once you get to Jubilee City, you can teach Charge Beam. Hold on. Plus a little bit of crunch, yes. And once again, I'm gonna say double kick. Why? You're gonna need that Pokemon move for which you feed Byron and his steel type Pokemon. <laughs> We're just getting started. And that is saying something, man. And Mischievous, which you could teach it Grass Knot. You know Grass Knot that you get from a Gardenia to be his Quagsire. Oh, yes. With that being seen, subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, share, leave a comment below to so think about the Poke video. And also, when it comes to Pokemon TCG battles, your boy Chris Blatthorne Harris now take it to the world max.